Hi there, uh, Darf Geekula here with a uh, kind of quick and dirty Darf's haul because I finally got uh, the uh, Star Wars Black Series Force Awakens Wave 5, I don't know how they number them now, the latest wave of, uh, of Black Series, which includes this guy, the Flame Trooper, which is my favorite non-regular trooper trooper, if that makes sense. Uh, Finn, or FN2187, that's going to be a trivia question, so I need to remember that. Uh, very cool figure. And, of course, Django Fett, which I think is going to be an early contender for figure of the year for 2016. But it is early. And this, a figure I have wanted really since the Expanded Universe, an old man Han. So there you go. That is them in the packages. Um, it doesn't really matter what they look like in the package because I'm going to take them out of the package and we will have a closer look. So stand by. Okay, so first off, um, I don't want to say he's my least favorite figure in this wave, but he's my least favorite figure in this wave, is the Flame Trooper. Now, uh, like I said, of all the non-regular troopers, the Flame Trooper was my favorite. I just think the concept of the First Order having a stormtrooper with a flamethrower is very diabolical, and I like that. Um, the problem is, like all of the, the, the original uh, First Order stormtroopers, his, uh, he doesn't get a lot of... Uh, he doesn't get a, a good 90 degree angle on his uh, his elbow articulation, so I had a bit of a time getting him to hold the flamethrower um, the way I wanted it to. I, I actually think he holds this gun better than the regular Stormtrooper holds his gun, uh, but still, and the arms look kind of short. Um, but again, once I once I have him holding the gun, I dig it. I still like it. Um, it's a good figure, not a great figure, but I'm really glad we have this, and I'm going to add him to my army of First Order Stormtroopers. And at the end of this video, I'll have some more pictures of this guy as well as the other figures as well. Uh, but there you go. There is the Flame Trooper. My least favorite, but I'm still really happy to have him. Okay, and here is FN2187, or Finn, in Stormtrooper Disguise. I would say this probably should have been the first Finn figure that we got, um, because really, this is the first new character we were introduced to in that uh, first teaser trailer way back uh, over a year ago. Um, this is still a great figure. Um, really, the Finn people have been wanting for a while. Good head sculpt. It's slightly different than the original Finn figure, which is kind of cool. Um, and the sort of uh, bloody streak on the helmet is really well done. I like that a lot. Uh, the only problem with this figure is, much like the regular Stormtrooper and also like the Flame Trooper, he just does not get a good bend at the elbow. Uh, they really should have kept the double joint. I would rather they take away the double jointed knees and kept the double jointed elbows. The other slight problem is um, I think he should be a little dirtier because he wore this and he got sort of the, the blood streak on his helmet uh, in the desert of Jakku. Um, so a little bit of battle damage, a little bit of dirt and grime, I think would have been perfect. However, otherwise, great figure. It's almost exactly the same as the regular Stormtrooper other than, of course, the head. Um, but... They did kind of rejigger the torso to make him a little bit uh, uh, shorter, which is kind of cool. They went the extra mile. And again, I'll have a few more uh, comparison picks of uh, FN2187 with some other figures. But again, the Finn figure that uh, I've been waiting for since uh, the U.S. Thanksgiving over a year ago when we first saw him in that teaser trailer. Still, good figure. Okay, now we're getting to the nitty-gritty of this wave of Star Wars Black series uh, with Jango Fett. Um, significant because he is the first non-Force Awakens figure we've gotten um, for a while. Uh, so that's cool. Great figure. It looks like Hasbro finally got the uh, paintbrushes out and gave him a really nice paint deco. His armor looks battle-worn. There's some paint shading, there's some dry brushing, there's some other brushing. Uh, so that's cool to see. Some people think the helmet is a little big. Maybe it is. I think it looks fantastic. And it has a great, a great likeness to the actor that plays Django Fett, whose name escapes me. But I do know it. I'm just freezing on it right now. But uh, I think that head sculpt is great. As usual, the paint does not match the uh, effort that went into the head sculpt. But it's still good. 
And in case you're wondering, I've had a, a few reviewers say that this head will not fit on your clone troopers if you want to have an unmasked clone trooper. Uh, but still, holsters for his gun, uh, which is neat. He yeah, has his jetpack. Not a lot of accessories, but I don't know what else you need, really. Um, great figure. Whoops. Great, great figure. And like I said, he's an early contender for action figure of the year. And I'll have some uh, comparison picks uh, with him and his son uh, later on after the video. Okay, now, upcoming, my favorite figure of this wave. Okay, so um, Django Fett is probably a better action figure overall because of the paint, uh, the paint deco and whatnot. But this is still my favorite figure in the wave because Harrison Ford was absolutely tremendous. Uh, he was, as the kids say, totally delightful um, as Han Solo in The Force Awakens. I mean, he was fantastic, and I think this is a great figure. Uh, I think they originally showed off this figure, or at least a prototype, at San Diego Comic-Con last year, maybe. And, the wor and it looked great then, and the worry was that by the time it went into production and we bought it, um, it wouldn't look as good. It doesn't look quite as good as the prototype, but I still think it looks great. For a mass market action figure... Um, I think this is a better head sculpt than was on the uh, the New Hope Han Solo that came out. Um, the only problem, other than no double jointed elbows, that's that's a problem with every Black Series figure now. Um, his hair should be a lot more gray. Like I, I see very little gray in there, um, so he should have that. If you ha have any customizing skills. You'll probably give him a little bit more gray hair. I probably won't do that because the figure was so hard to find. Uh, I'm not going to mess it up. But I love it. The legs look a little strange. Um, I don't know if it goes too high up into the hip joint. Um, but I, I mean, I don't even mind that. I don't care. I love this figure. This is a fantastic figure. So, yeah, the legs look a little strange. Uh, but once you get him posed, he looks fine. The blaster looks great. And like I said, awesome likeness to an awesome character. I mean, he, Han Solo is one of my all-time favorite fictional characters, period. And he was fantastic in The Force Awakens. And yeah, I'm ecstatic to finally have this figure. Okay, uh, I have a little gallery of some more pictures that I took. And uh, like I said, if you see this wave and you want it, buy it as soon as you see it. Um, I have no idea how the distribution is going to go with Star Wars Black Series. Uh, when the movie first came out, there were kind of, not a lot of them, but they were a little easier to get. Now we're getting into the waves without the movie behind it, which means stores are going to be weird about what they order. Um, I had to order this online. Paid more than I wanted to, but I did not want to uh, risk not getting these guys. So yeah, definitely the best wave since the Force Friday wave that came out. Um, and the one I was most excited about getting uh, since that first wave. So I highly, highly recommend this um, if you can. Okay, guys, enjoy the uh, bad cell phone pics that I'm about to take. And uh, until next time, I, uh, I'll see ya.